Hi, uh, welcome to another Law & Sport Insight with me, Sean Cottrell, the founder of Law & Sport. I'm joined today by Adam Beach, our editorial assistant. Adam's been writing on a number of matters, including uh, the Court of Arbitration for Sport, and more recently, uh, the Rangers Football Club saga. Adam, can you uh, tell us a little bit about your latest blog on Rangers and uh, give us a bit of background about why you decided to write on that subject? Hi, Sean. Well... I decided to write about the subject because the Rangers issue is getting an increasingly large amount of coverage in England, especially on the back of the decision by Lord Nemo Smith and his commission. I wanted to give the people who don't always take an interest in Scottish football a bit of background about how Rangers have gone from one of the leading clubs in Scotland to the bottom tier of the league structure. And the blog just seeks to give a bit of background to that information and more recently, go into detail about how Rangers have specifically gone into administration and found themselves in the third division. And uh, can you just uh, remind us what the Commission uh, found? Well, the Commission found that Rangers had not gained any sporting advantage from the use of employee benefit trusts, which the article goes into more detail. They found that although there was no sporting advantage gained, which meant that the league titles that they won during the years of the Employment, employment Benefits Trust were in operation, those leagues were won fairly. However, the Commission found that the Board of Directors at Rangers had made a serious administrative error by not declaring the side letters associated with the payments, and for that reason they imposed a fine of a quarter of a million pounds on the old co-Rangers. Right, OK. Well, uh, I guess people, people want to know more about this. They can read your blog. And uh, you, can you just give us a, a, uh, an idea of what you're going to be um, writing about in the future? Well, this is actually a good time for Scottish football in terms of being written about, not actually what's happening to it. <laughs> so there's going to be issues on uh, league reconstruction in Scottish football. And on a wider sporting level, the Commonwealth Games is coming to Glasgow in 2014, and that's sure to raise a number of legal issues in sport. Fantastic. Well, I look forward to reading more about it, and thanks for your time. No problem.